We are learning more about a crime spree that ended with a South Side father murdered while hanging up Christmas lights. Tonight, two men are in jail charged with murder. CBS News Meredith Barrick reports DNL. DNA helped crack the case. It's been rough, you know. But my dad was a very big part of our lives. Not just mine, but my brothers, my sisters, my mom's. Jose Teyes's eldest son, David, says the murder of his father on December 11th has left a gaping hole in their family. Police say Teyes was beaten to death by Pedro Mendiola and Moises Barrios as he put up Christmas lights outside his Gage Park home. The two were accused of committing more than a dozen robberies that day, starting at 4 p.m. and attacking Teyes around 6 p.m. And they got out with their bat and their crowbar. And unfortunately, the daughter heard the screams and saw on the window what was happening and tried to get her brother to help. By that time, the defendants had already uh, beaten the victim to death and had fled the scene. Mendiola and Barrios' rampage finally ending around 8 p.m. on the south side. Barrios was arrested the day of the attack. Detectives say they found the bat and crowbar in Barrios' car, and that led to fingerprint and DNA evidence linking him and Mendiola to the robberies and murder. David says when he got word that the two men who senselessly killed his father outside their home were caught, he was overcome with a mix of emotions. Sadness, anger, happiness, any emotion you could you could think of, it just hit me during that phone call. I was happy that they finally caught him. I was sad because I'm, I'm still missing him, you know. CBS 2 has learned both men have lengthy criminal histories. Barrios dates back to 2016 and includes burglary, domestic battery, and possession of a weapon. Mendiola has been arrested multiple times for battery since 2019, as well as retail theft and possession of a weapon. Both men now face murder charges for the death of Teyes and more than 20 felony charges for the robberies. In Gage Park, I'm Meredith Barrick, CBS 2 News.